enemy came into the Green family like a flood. He tried to hurt Edward and Erica. But their love was so strong, it just didn't happen. But God, Erica, God, you blessed us. You really blessed the Green family. Some people might see it differently. But God, Erica sees it as a gift from God and a blessing to the family. Thank you, Jesus. She's in the Green family now. And I thank you, Lord. But God, I thank you for watching over Jim. When he left home, he was disappointed and broken. But God, you saw something in Jim that nobody else could see. And you gave him something that would have everlasting love. Only you could do that, God. Only you. But God, I thank you for being there for June. You know, when you gave him that love, he became a part of you. And it made him a new creature in you, Lord. But you return him back to the Green family. He left home. He was a wounded man. <laughs> but God, you know what? You sent him back to the family. A holy man. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But you know, Lord, no matter what the enemy trying to do. Amen. But it don't have a foothold on the green family. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Help us. You know, I'm so glad that you have blessed us. And you keep on blessing the green family. You know, this is pretty hard, yo. I just want to stand here and shout. Oh, yeah, now. God, you did so much for us, so very much. But I can tell you one thing, God is good. Amen. Amen. fabulous cast and staff of people. This is not an easy job, whether you realize it or not. But they hung in there with me. I mean, I was difficult, but as you can see, they're still here. I have two people that I do want to bring up that wasn't mentioned. 
Jamie and Talana. Would you come up, please? Come on, y'all. Put your hands together for Jamie and Talana. They are also members of Maker Star Productions. You know, when you're doing things, things get mixed up, things get all out of place, and, you know, it gets confusing. But I was getting ready to kill them off. They were supposed to die in a car accident. And then I was going to have them stand on the side and have this light shine down on them like they were angels. But as you know, in theater and in television, we could always bring you back. Okay, so instead of that, I didn't want to do that, you know, because honestly, these two women are a major part of this production. <laughs> they are a major, major part of this production. And when we do it again, which we will be doing it again, because the more you do it, the better it gets. Okay, she said Hollywood. <laughs> Um, their characters will be brought back, okay? So the fun part about when you're doing stage stuff, you can always change things around. You can make this one this and make that one that. So they will be back in their original roles when we uh, do it again. What I would like to, I would like to give God all the credit because it's only through his grace and his mercy and his love for me that I made it through this. I'm going to tell you, this was a rough month for me. This was a real rough month. I mean, I had people coming against me, people trying to hurt me. But you know what? I got a God that sits high. I mean, it was some cry, crying days, I'm telling you. But I, I need to let y'all know, this, this play was based on family. Ups and downs, because we do have them. A grandmother that loved me dearly. She loved me dearly, okay? My great-grandmother, she loved me dearly, too. I slept with her until I was like 12, 13 years old. Today, they don't do that because they disrespect their families. And our grandmothers are wise beyond belief. They could tell you some stuff to help you along your way if you just listen to them. And this is what it's about, listening to them. And I need to let y'all know something. I um, I'm stubborn. I was stubborn. Very, very stubborn. And a lot of the stuff you've seen them doing was characters of my life. They just played my part. All of them. They played my sister. They played my brothers. My sister might not believe it, but my sister Nora that lives in Florida, boy, that is the diva. And I love her to death. I didn't bring my little sister in, Renee. She ain't my little sister, but that's, that's, that's my best sister. That's the one that always been there for me. And I need to tell you about a very, 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 very special person in my life. And this goes for all of y'all. We might have our ups and downs with our mother. But we have to be able to recognize. When I was going through what I was going through, when I called on the name of Jesus, he answered me. And not only did he answer me, he told me, call your mother. Call your mother. And you know what? That was the sweetest sound that I could have ever heard. When I was going through what I was going through, I just wanted to hear my mother's voice. And trust me, things changed. Things got better. They 
They weren't where they supposed to be, but they got better. And they continue to get better. So I'm telling you now today, young folks, folks that you still got your grandmothers, you still got your mothers, you're going to go through some stuff. Trust me, you're going to go through some stuff, but ain't nothing like your mother. Ain't nothing like your mother. She's there for you regardless of what you're going through. And all you got to do is pick up a phone. Well, we don't pick up the phones no more. We flip them open, you know, iPhones, all that kind of stuff. But all you got to do is call your mother's number. And regardless of how you treated her, she's going to always be there for you. And if you got a grandmother like my grandmother's, trust me, y'all better start cooking them Sunday dinners again. Y'all better start calling your mother. You better start calling your grandmother, letting them know that you love them. Because when they leave, that's when you get all dumbfounded and sad and want to go with them. It ain't your time. So you tell them now how much you love them and how much you care about them. Regardless of what they say to you, they are wise beyond belief. We got these young folks out here that think they know everything. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Half of you don't even want to stay in school like you're supposed to. But one thing about my mother, she made sure I did what I was supposed to. Y'all better start giving these kids some chores again. <laughs> you better start telling them what they need to do. I couldn't even go out the house until my mother came home from work. And I only had a half an hour of light. And she did call me out the window. And I did come running. So y'all better tell, start taking charge of your children again and not let your children take charge of you.